I'm TechShider and welcome to my channel and today's video I will present the awesome gaming laptop the Alienware X14. A pretty, petite Alder Lake and GE Force powered gaming powerhouse. Alienware X14 back logo. Alienware's X series of slender and light gaming workstations was first presented somewhat less than a year prior. And Dell's gaming items division has been refining the smooth, spacey looking machines at a genuinely fast clasp from that point forward. A long time prior, we gave you a glance at the new Alienware X17 R2, the second happening to Alienware X series leader. Presently controlled by Intel's 12th Gen Core, Alder Lake, CPUs and the powerful GE Force RTX 3080 Ti versatile GPU. That machine set up a few awesome numbers and looked incredible getting it done. However today we return to the X series with an altogether new contribution from Alienware. One that a considerable lot of you have been tingling to find in the tissue and in real life. The Alienware X14 is an all new, distinctly more modest variation of the X series specs. And it's simply tingling to go head to head with different workstations for the ultralight gaming crown. Indeed. Dell guarantees the new Alienware X14 kicking the tires on today is the world's most slender 14-inch gaming PC. Setting the undeniable qualifiers to the side, in spite of the fact that there are other meager and light 14 gaming PCs out there, this is the most slender. And lightest PC at any point laid hands on that professes to offer genuine gaming machine hereditary qualities and execution. Also without a doubt this pixel siphoning, Space-matured wafer of driving edge innovation packs more than good capability. With a 14-center Intel Core i7 Alder Lake processor and GE Force RTX 3060 under its flight deck. On the other hand, what compromises to recklessly resist the laws of physical science like this? What's more at what cost and intricacy? Snatch your gravity boots and got dried out apportions, space trainees, you're going to discover. Presently that you've, ideally, taken our speedy video visit, above, of the Alienware X14. It should dive into a couple of a greater amount of the points of interest. As noticed, the new X14 depends on Intel's 12th Gen Core series processor stage. Also known as Alder Lake. Profoundly 20-string CPU. However Alienware offers a Core i5-12 center variant 2 for its entrance level config that is evaluated as low as $1650. There are likewise 16 and 32 GB BLP DDR5 RAM choices, however as you could envision, in this ultralight gaming machine. That RAM is fastened down, so pick your config admirably and, as a rule, purchase however much you can bear. Moving along to capacity, not at all like the bigger Alienware X17, the X14 has just single SSD stockpiling choices up to 2TB. Yet Alienware was adequately brilliant to drop a PCIe Gen 4 SSD in there from Micron for a sound transfer speed knock. Airing on this later. Presently that you've, ideally, taken our speedy video visit, above, of the Alienware X14, it should delve into a couple of a greater amount of the specifics. As noticed, the new X14 depends on Intel's 12th Gen Core series processor stage, otherwise known as Alder Lake. Deeply 20-string CPU, however Alienware offers a Core i5-12 center form also for its entrance level config that is estimated as low as $1650. There are likewise 16 and 32 GB LPDDR5 RAM choices, yet as you could envision, in this ultralight gaming machine, that RAM is bound down. So pick your config admirably and, by and large, purchase however much you can bear. Moving along to capacity. Not at all like the bigger Alienware X17, the X14 has just single SSD stockpiling choices up to 2 terabyte. Yet Alienware was savvy to the point of dropping a PCIe Gen 4 SSD in there from Micron for a solid data transmission knock. Favoring this later. Likewise of restricted choice, the X14 as of now accompanies however one presentation. You might have either the 1080 pixel FHD 144Hz, 
3 milliseconds reaction time board at 400 nits, or business as usual. The pleasure is all mine. I'm actually similar to a man in the desert for some 1440 pixel love with this machine. However without question high invigorate rate 1080p showcases are at present the gamer perfect balance. Further, higher goal boards are simply going to eat more power. At long last, on the GPU front. Alienware's top end config for the machine, which is a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 with 6GB of GDDR6 and a TGP, total graphics power, of 60 watts. That design's motor will progressively lift to 75 watts when accessible. And what sort of execution that likens to additionally down the page here. Alienware likewise offers RTX 3050 Ti and RTX 3050 config choices with somewhat less power draw, drive, outline cradle memory, 4GB, and cost. Lastly, as far as shading choices, you likewise get a wide exhibit of decisions. As in take your pick, Lunar Light, seen above, or indeed, Lunar Light. It sure is a beautiful machine however, so Dell and Alienware you get a pass on the shading choice really look at box. The Alienware X14 is one of the most pleasant looking gaming PCs found in quite a while. You don't get a similar RGB lighting in the back IO port region like Alienware's X15 or X17. However this gaming PC likewise tries to your inclination as a day by day driver, and in such manner somewhat less bling is presumably okay. Alienware X14 Industrial Design, Keyboard, Sound, and Features Moving right along to other basic plan decisions for meager and light machines like this. Tragically both side edges of the new Alienware X14 are totally without IO ports as in nothing, you get cooling vents and that is it. Whether or not this is a gem for you is another inquiry. We certainly would have gotten a kick out of the chance to see no less than one USB-C or potentially SD card space on one or the other side of the machine. Yet with a PC this meager and with the warm arrangement and battery required. Alienware is definitely wasn't possible. Thus, so, assuming you're hoping to connect peripherals, outer capacity or even the power block into this smooth gaming PC, you will stretch around the rear. No mullet here, young men and young ladies. The posterior of the Alienware X14 is all business. On the back of the machine you are blessed to receive an abundance of IO choices, be that as it may. Including a couple of USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. A standard HDMI 2.1 port, a SD card opening, and a combo headset port, among others. Wired Ethernet network will be saved for a dongle. However with a Wi-Fi 6 e NIC on board that may not be an issue by any means for the vast majority of you. Alienware's command center provides cooling, overclocking, and RGB control. The console deck of the Alienware X14 is shockingly open for a machine of this size. And incorporates a segment of media control buttons on the right side edge for mic and speaker quiet, as well as volume up or down buttons. The key covers have 1.2 mm of movement and have agreeable physicality for a strong composing experience and all of the keys are RGB illuminated with only one controllable zone accessible. You really do get the standard static, morph, pulse, breathing, and so forth lighting impacts. However it's completely synchronized and negative, tragically the trackpad of the X14 isn't illuminated this time, similar with the Alienware X15. Bring it back, Dell, your fans love that glowy cushion goodness. On the sound front, Alienware furnished the X14 with a couple of drivers on the top side of the machine. Simply over the capacity key column on the left and right side. These are top terminating speakers. And the sound framework is Dolby Atmos guaranteed, however while yield volume is good and highs and mids fresh and clear, the machine needs low-end punch. This isn't is to be expected obviously from this size and weight class of machine, however it sounds better sound frameworks. Particularly with the new harvest of gaming workstations. Alienware X14 Display. 
A punchy 144Hz 1080p panel with G-Sync and 400 nits. One part of the Alienware X14 that is surely not all business is its 144Hz, 3 milliseconds 1080 pixel presentation. This is a straightforward gaming, non-contact board with a matte completion that opposes glare and conveys a decent arrangement of difference and pop. This 14-inch WVA show additionally brings NVIDIA G-Sync and is empowered with advanced Optimus innovation for direct result from the discrete GeForce GPU. With lower idleness and better execution accordingly. It likewise offers 100% DCI-P3 shading range inclusion and puts out 400 nits of brilliance. It's a truly pleasant gaming show generally speaking and at 144Hz will be quick enough for genuine esports gamers, while offering sufficient precision for some quality substance creation work. Flip on G-Sync and things will be luxurious for sure. Sadly, it's additionally the main board choice Alienware offers for the machine as of now, as noted prior. How Eva revive not too far off with at minimum a 1440p variation. You can get it done, Alienware. Alienware X14 Performance Benchmark Gauntlet Run Prior to running any of our benchmarks, the entirety of the most recent Windows and driver updates to the framework trying. Our specific Alienware X14 test transported with Windows 11 Pro 21H2 and required next to no refreshing, save for the most recent game-ready GE Force drivers. Other than applying refreshes, like most standard clients would, without of the container settings. To test the framework as it ships, however after auto-refreshing, to precisely reflect what purchasers can anticipate from a retail insight. Notwithstanding, shift the Alienware X14 into its performance mode with Alienware's command center programming, seen previously. It's a fundamental piece of the buyer experience with the machine and the setting offered ideal execution joined with sensible acoustics. Favoring this later. Obviously, with a 2 terabyte PCI Express 4 NVMe SSD, solid state drive, on board the X14. It set up some truly decent pinnacle consecutive exchange numbers in our Atto Circle test. Indeed. Even down at little 4K exchange sizes read and compose transfer speed is strong. The Micron 3400 SSD Alienware picked here is a smart drive with top data transfer capacity above 5.5 GB per second. Speedometer 2.0 Browser Benchmark We utilize BrowserBench.org's speedometer test to check our web encounters, which investigates web application execution. This test naturally loads and runs a few example web applications from TotoMVC.com utilizing the most famous web advancement systems around. Including React, Angular, Ember.js, and surprisingly vanilla JavaScript. This test is a superior illustration of how frameworks adapt to genuine web applications, rather than an unadulterated JavaScript process test like Jetstream. All tests performed utilizing the most recent variant of Chrome. Alienware's new ultralight gaming magnificence leaps to the higher class here, in front of all past 11th gen Intel machines. As well as Ryzen 5000 based PCs. It orders a 13% lead over inheritance gaming scratch pad in this class. With its 14 center Alder Lake chips responsiveness to speedy burst responsibilities like this. The X14 trails a lot beefier 12th Gen Core controlled 17-inch machines from MSI and Alienware also, be that as it may, true to form. Cinebench R23 Rendering Benchmark Cinebench R23 is the most recent 3D delivering benchmark from Maxon. In light of the Cinema 4D R23 delivering motor for 3D illustrations experts working in displaying, reproduction and movement. We tried both single-strung and multi-strung execution while delivering the example scene of an office with hardwood floors and a great deal of glass in the windows. In Cinebench, the X14 by and by shows extraordinary execution, particularly for its size. When you consider it's outclassing a lot bigger 15 and 17-inch machines from the past age. 
including those fueled by AMD's powerful Ryzen 9 5900HS. And it's beating them by an extensive degree. What's more, it should take note of that the Alienware X14 additionally just displayed a 5 to 10% inconstancy in rehashed benchmark runs, as endeavored to thermally immerse the CPU's cooling arrangement. The Alienware X14 held up well in such manner, and just missed getting the bigger Alder Lake controlled gaming workstations. Alienware's X17 R2 and MSI's GE76 Raider, in our test information base by around 6 to 7%. Geekbench 5 Benchmarks Geekbench is a cross-stage benchmark that mimics true handling responsibilities in picture handling and molecule physical science situations. We tried the scratch pad included here in Geekbench's single and multi-center jobs. It estimates single strung execution permitting a solitary center to extend its legs, and multi-strung throughput to put all centers under a weighty burden. Alienware X14 ascend to the highest point of the field, outperforming even the MSI GE76 Raider that is controlled by a better quality Core i9-12900K CPU. However exclusively by a thin edge in the multi-threaded test. Notwithstanding, amazing execution from a 14-inch structure factor is on tap here. PC Mark 10 Productivity and Content Creation Benchmarks PC Mark 10 uses a blend of certifiable applications and reenacted responsibilities to lay out how well a given framework performs efficiency assignments, including picture and video altering, web perusing, and open office report altering. While these scores seem, by all accounts, to be out of control, the frameworks are arranged by their generally PC Mark score, which is the third, dim, bar in each bunch. Thanks for watching my friends please like my video and subscribe if you're new to my channel. God bless.